hi everyone in this video we will validate this sign up form so i have already created this design so we will just perform the validation in this video okay we will write the validation in javascript so let's get started first we will check the code it is the code which i have written okay the code and it is the css code which is applied on that so now let's write whenever we press the submit button so we should see is that our form is validated or not so the first thing i have created this sign up validation file a separate file js file and here i will create a function validation okay this function is created so now let's whenever we press the submit button okay the submit button so we should call that function let's come here and submit we will call that function and we will return a value okay we will call that function so when we call that function so first thing is that we should get the values of email password and confirm password these three uh, values we should get mm, the name of this is password repeat first name is email then psw psw repeat let's get these values or email is equal to document dot um, first we will assign a name to our forum let's uh, assign a name name is equal to f1 for example okay then for name the forum name is f1 f1 dot uh, email dot video after that let's do it for the password psw and also let's come here psw the same thing for uh, password repeat and password repeat make it underscore yeah password repeat that value after getting these values now we should apply validation on that for example if the email and uh, email was equal to equal to with for example if, if it was empty we should get an error there and under the sign up forum okay we should get an error here so what we should do let's come here come here under the input field okay name input field, email input field i will write a span tag and i will assign a id to this id is equal to um, email error the same thing i will do for the uh, password and let's come to the password and write here sorry copy this and write here this is the password error and the same thing for confirm password confirm password error so now we should get these span tags okay we should get these also so to get these let's write code for that for email error is equal to document dot query selector we will get that by based on id okay we get first of all the email error and also the password error and confirm password let's assign here okay now let's write the email error that email html is equal to email is required and also change the color of that that style that color is equal to great and we will create a variable for the return value for return value is equal to by default it is true and here we will change that to false uh, to false okay 
लास्ट वैल्यू रिटर्न आर वैल्यू सो लेट्स इंपोर्ट दिस इन आवर फाइल स्क्रिप्ट साइन अप वैलिडेशन पर्चेस ओके सो नाउ लेट्स चेक इट रिफ्रेश द पेज एंड लेट्स प्रेस द सबमिट बटन साइन अप इज रिक्वायर्ड सो लेट्स रिमूव डिफॉल्ट एच टी एम एल रिक्वायर्ड जस्ट रिमूव इट टू चेक आवर वैलिडेशन जो उसकी वैलिडेशन ओके सबमिट लेट्स रिमूव हफ्ते सी ई मेल इज रिक्वायर्ड and we should have if we change this to p tag what will happen see email is required and also we will um, apply um, and the password same thing we will be uh, apply for the password password okay psw sorry psw then we should write password error and password error that style password is required let's check it See, password is required. Same for the confirm password. After applying this, so now um, we should add more validation on this. If it was not empty, so then we should check else if. And now we will uh, declare um, a pattern regular expression. Yeah, I have this regular expression for the email. Let's check it. Yeah, this means that without space and at sign, we should accept all things and plus means one or more character then we should have at in the email and again the characters at the again dot and the characters again it is the email regular expression so now let's check it apple email pattern dot test uh, email let's add the dot sign to this if it didn't match with this pattern so we should again apply this and that okay else we should do empty this we should make this empty the name built this should be empty First, it will check it. Okay, if it is not empty, then it will check this condition. Uh, if it was, uh, if it didn't match, it will execute this. But if it was true, so then it will come to the else and make the email error built empty. The same thing we will do for the password. And for the password, I will copy one another regular expression. This is for the password. Okay. it here this mean at least one digit at least one character and at least one capital character and the number should be eight let's check it for the password same thing copy this just change them oh. copy this and paste it here just you know, come here and write password pattern that test and on password psw and let's come here we will write password error
Yeah, here we should write. This is not image. Also here. The same thing we will do for the confirm password uh, but for the conf confirm password I will write something like this okay if confirm password was not equal to equal to was not equal to with psw if these two are not equal so then we should write So now let's check it. The fresh the page and press submit email and password is uh, required. So let's check. enter email for example the wrong email. Press email not matched. If we write like this, see the error has removed. Again for the password, let's re write some just digit digit digits. Password not matched. If we write small character with that characters again not match if we write capital character with that so then this uh, password not matched let's check it password pattern password it is okay so let's appreciate and enter password ok the pattern is ok now I have entered all digits characters but this didn't match let's uh, enter the same password for both and the same password for this one two three four hsbf and capital A sign of C that has submitted and there is no error for us so it was all about sign up forum um, validation in uh, in javascript so if you have liked this video please subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching